And now it's time for our new segment, The Washington Whisperer. In this segment, we talk to you about something happening in Washington that's not being covered by the mainstream media that impacts millions of America. Americans, excuse me. Tonight, we start with this one. Although 9 million kids across the United States get their health care through CHIP, Congress let the program expire September 30th. Since then, states have been burning through the cash that remains in their CHIP account. And parents, doctors, and state officials are wondering whether Congress will save what has traditionally been a popular program with strong bipartisan support. Keeping kids insured doesn't cost much, but it sure pays off. What is Congress thinking, America? So, I mean, just think about it. For the past 10 months, they've done everything under the sun. They've tried to repeal the Affordable Care Act. They've tried to, you know, fire Mueller, right? They've had hearings on Uranium One. But yet they have not found the time to make sure that 9 million kids can go to the doctor. It's shocking, right? And right now, as we tape this show, Members of Congress are debating how to give millionaires and billionaires tax cuts. And while they do that, nine million children will languish. And I, I mean, I know you're like, oh, Richard, it's not going to happen today. But it is. 16 states are projecting that they will exhaust CHIP funding by the end of next month. Meaning, I mean, and this is serious, in Colorado, the state is already telling poor parents that, hey, listen, at the end of January, like your sick kids, your kid has asthma, we're not, we're not going to you're not, we're not gonna be able to pay for his asthma pump anymore. Your kid has leukemia and they're sick, we won't be able to pay for their chemo anymore. And while that's happening, millionaires and billionaires are getting their estate taxes repealed. Here's what Jimmy Kimmel had to say about it um, on his late night show. Remember, Jimmy Kimmel, his son um, is sick. Um, and he had an emotional response. Let's take a listen. Hi, I'm Jimmy. This is Billy. I was out last week because this guy had a, a heart surgery. But look, he's fine, everybody. <laughs> if your baby is going to die, and it doesn't have to, it, it shouldn't matter how much money you make. I think that's something that, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat or something else, we all agree on that, right? Until now, now CHIP has become a bargaining chip. It's on the back burner while they work out their new tax plans, which means parents of children with cancer and diabetes and heart problems are about to get letters saying their coverage could be cut off next month. Merry Christmas, right? And Mr. Kimmel couldn't be more correct. I mean, just think about it. In the state of, the state of Oregon has already run out of federal money and is borrowing from its Medicaid budget to ensure that the 80,000 CHIP kids keep their coverage through April. America, it's astonishing to me. It's absolutely astonishing. President Trump ran on this agenda to make America great again, right? He ran on this agenda of being this populist. He's going to make life so much better. He's going to make life so much richer. He's going to make better deals. Well, what happened to making better deals for poor kids, Mr. President? What happened to ensuring that poor kids grow up healthy? We can't make America great again, Mr. President, if we are not looking out for America's future. Remember, our greatest race, our greatest resource as a country has been and will continue to be our people. And if our people aren't healthy and our people aren't able to thrive, then our country will never be great again, Mr. President. And our future is our children, and children cannot learn if they're not healthy. And taking, nine, taking away the ability to see a doctor and seeing a dentist from nine million children is sick. It's disgusting, and it's morally reprehensible. And the fact that members of Congress are so complicit in this action it, it, it's sickening. It should be sickening to every American. I don't care what party you belong to. You could be a Democrat. You could be a Republican. You could be an independent. But if you know a child, if you have a child, if you were a child, which means every one of you watching this program right now, you should be disgusted. Take a listen to what Senator Orrin Hatch, the author of this bill a decade ago, had to say a couple of days ago on the floor of the United States Senate. 
program? Nobody there? believes more in the CHIP program than I. I invented it. I was the one who wrote it. Kennedy came over and became the one who helped put it through. We recognize that, Mr. Of Chairman. Of course I do. I don't think I do everything on my own here. I've got to have good Democrat friends to do it. I don't think you do either. But let me tell you something. We're going to do CHIP. There's no question about it in my mind. And it's got to be done the right way. But we, the reason CHIP's having trouble is because we don't have any money anymore. You've got to be kidding me. Not enough money. Not enough money, Senator. You, you're, you're, you're blowing my mind. Not enough money. But yet, in this tax plan, you have enough money to lower corporate tax rates. You have enough money to get rid of the estate tax, which only benefits millionaires and billionaires. You have enough money to keep the corporate jet loophole. You have enough money to keep the corporate yacht loophole. The, 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 the yacht loophole. You have enough money to, to, to lower taxes for the rich. I mean, it's astonishing. It's astonishing to me that corporations like IBM and Microsoft will continue to pay 0% in taxes, but we cannot muster the, the couple million dollars, the billion dollars or so, to make sure that 9 million children will be able to go to the doctor. It's crazy. It's shocking. It's shocking, America. I mean, it's so, it, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It should make everybody watching this show sick to their stomach that we're even talking about this. Now, this is why you need to know what's real. So there's 16 states that will lose this funding at the end of January. Now, you could be living in one of the states. This is why you need to know. This is why we do this segment, The Washington Whisperer, because this could affect you or your children. So if you're in Washington State, Oregon, California, Nevada, Idaho, Idaho, Utah, Colorado, Arizona, Texas, Florida, Pennsylvania, Minnesota, Virginia, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, the District of Columbia, you are the first tier of states that will lose money if they do not renew CHIP. Now, I'm going to put this into play for you. If you're listening to this show right now, remember, there's not very many legislative days left. So this likely will not happen before the end of the year. This will not happen before the end of the year. It's not going to happen. They will not renew it, right? Because there's not even a bill in the House to get it done yet, right? It hasn't even hit the House floor. So if you are one of those individuals, if you live in one of these states, we're talking about you. Now, if you live now other states, you get like, I mean, you're, there are other states who, there's 21 states that by February or March will run out of money. Then by April or later, 11 states will run out of money. And these children will lose the health care they need. Now, you're dealing, these are, we're talking about poor kids here. So we're not talking about millionaire kids or billionaire kids. We're talking about poor kids. Kids who are, are, who are, who are poor at no fault of their own. They, didn't, they woke up, they, they didn't make themselves poor. Right? And now we are basically sticking it to them. Not to their parents. We are sticking it to them. The president hasn't even mentioned the word chip. He's talking about, oh, oh you're going to get this big Christmas present when I pass my tax reform. What happened to the, so, you're, so I guess these poor kids, these 9 million poor kids, they just get coals in their stockings, Mr. President. Listen, doctors and patients around the country are worried as chips money will run out in state after state. Lawmakers and staff on Capitol Hill say that the CHIP funding will likely be included in the end of the year spending bill, but we haven't seen it included yet. But America, this is a call to action for everybody watching this show, which is why we do this segment. You can call your member of Congress, you can call your senator, and you should demand, not ask, demand that we get funding for CHIP today in the end of the year spending bill to determine whether the government shuts down or not. So the government's going to shut down on, on December 22nd, so they have to pass the bill by then. You need to demand that they fund CHIP, which is a program that provides health care for poor kids. It has always been bipartisan. It was authored and passed by Orrin Hatch and Ted Kennedy. Now Donald Trump and his Republicans, Mitch McConnell, 
Paul Ryan. They have refused to pass it. They are holding these 9 million kids and their health care hostage so they could pass tax cuts for millionaires and billionaires. Don't let them get away with it. We have got to hold these legislators accountable. And when they don't pass it, we have got to hold them more accountable on no in November 2018 and we've got to vote them out because if they will put our if they will put the lives of our kids in jeopardy we should put their jobs in jeopardy okay America we will not stand for this this is something that should be bipartisan it has always been bipartisan but sadly these Republicans care more about their donors they care more about the DeVosses they care more about the Cokes they care more about Sheldon Adelson than they do about the kids of this country and we care about the children and we've got to make them know it pick up the phone Call your member of Congress and let it be known. Let's get chip renewed. Let's make sure these 9 million children have health care. We'll be back after this break.